Hey there, what are we doing today? Well, today is Savings Challenge Monday. Welcome back. My name is Lisa, and as always, I'm super glad you're here today. We have our dice. We have our mini Savings Challenge binder, kinda. And we have our holiday binder. So let's see how much money we have before we get to stuffing. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 115 dollars. And yes, I have restarted Show Me the Love Challenge. This is the challenge I'm using to build up our medical deductible fund. And right now we have maybe $300 in that and I need to get that up to $1,000. You guys help me out by leaving me a like, 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 like Ange over at Budget and Debt would say. And I pay myself a quarter for each like. And so this week we had 123 likes. Thank you so much. That really helps me because our medical and dental, you know, we're mature. We're in our early 60s. I'm retired. My husband is stepping down from 40 to 32 hours. And um, we are just seem to be going to the doctor on a regular basis all the time. Nothing serious. 123 times 0.25 is 3075. Let's see. I think we'll just put 35 in. Um, he, <clears throat> he's on his way to the, he's been to the dentist, has some tooth pain, now he has to go to the uh, oral surgeon. And that is not going to be cheap, probably. He probably, let's see, the options are he'll have a crown and or an implant. Did you hear that? Cha-ching, cha-ching, but I want to be prepared. So if you guys will continue to leave me likes, that will be greatly appreciated. And as always, I keep this in this big binder. And the goal is $1,000. So we will put this 35 in. Let's see, 20, 20, 35. And we will get started with our other savings challenges for Savings Challenge Monday. Okay, let's put this up. I don't think we'll need it. This is my holiday binder. I have already pre-calculated what I'm going to put in. We have 10, 20, 35, 40, 5, 55 dollars. This is my favorite binder. It's a sparkle binder, makes me happy. And let's see. So Halloween is going to get $10. I'm going to cap that out at Let's see, what are we gonna cap it out at? 150, I think we decided. Right now we have 110, so we are well on our way. And Thanksgiving is going to get $10. Let's see, oh. So we'll put that in there. I'm gonna buy a couple fives, I think. For up here. So I'm gonna need it. And that will give us a total of 75 and I'll cap that out at 150 as well. Christmas dinner I am responsible for. So that is going to get 10 as well. We have money everywhere. Panic, no panic. So, whoop, oh yes, Christmas will get 10. Then that'll bring us up to $100. This one is going to go up to at least 200, 250, I'm not sure. I try to pre-buy things on sale, kind of cash flow it, but I am responsible for Christmas dinner and I want to be prepared, yay. Valentine's Day is going to get five. So Valentine's, bleh, Valentine's Day is my husband's birthday and that'll bring us up to $40. You know, um, because we like to eat out on our birthday weekends, uh, we are going to put the five in, take the 10 out, put the 10 in. I'm just gonna save more for eating out because we don't really eat out on the regular. Do we have another five? Yeah. And it's kind of special. You know, because, well, you know, eating out's expensive. So there's that. Easter, we'll get five. That'll bring us up to $57. But this is just a fun way to, for me to have a little extra cash to spend on the grandkids or to give some money to the church for their special events for the kids, you know, like for Easter candy and, um, you know, Halloween candy, whatever. Okay, Mother's Day is going to get five. That'll bring us up to $30. I'd like to get that up to a couple hundred too. 
because that's another weekend we like to eat out. So we just eat out on holiday weekends, I guess. So we'll put that in there. And I'm going to buy these fives. There we go. Do I have my 20s? And I'll put that in. This 20 out. Are you following along? Yeah, good. So that's 30. That money goes up there. Father's Day is going to get five as well. And that will bring us up to $20. Just kind of had Father's Day, so we have plenty of time to fill this up. 10, 15, 20. So we'll take that out. 5, 10, 15, 20. And take, oop, we don't have a 20. Do we have a 20? No, we'll take these two 10s then. All right, we'll these fives for the other binder. And then we'll have $5 for July 4th Memorial Day weekend. And it's kind of around my birthday weekend, so we like to eat out then too. And that will give us 20. What do you think about that? So we'll put this up. This one is stuffed. We'll clean up our area. Get our cash under control. 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and 80. All right. I think we can uh, spread that around pretty good. I love this binder. It is might be my favorite little binder, but I just love these bright colors. So we're gonna kind of skip around. We're gonna do roll the dice. I collect dice, so I have dice in almost all colors. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh well. We'll just clean that up. So you can use as many dice as you want to with this game. And, <coughs> excuse me, oof <sighs> and I choose to use three. This is around $153, give or take. I always round up, so I'm not really sure the exact amount. So this is nine. Nine, nine, nine. What the heck? I guess it's gonna be pink. I wanted it to be orange. Huh. All right, Organization 101. Okay, nine, but we'll go ahead and put 10 in, but we'll knock off well, we'll just put 10 in. We'll put that right there. And then we'll come back if we have any extra cash to add to it. Put 10 in there. And then what does that give us? That gives us 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, $60. Not bad. Yes, yeah, so these will go for my sinking funds. These little savings challenges will go to pluff up whatever is needed in the sinking fund area or to finish a sinking fund. Or if those are all in good shape, they'll go to, de uh, not to debt, but they will go to um, the emergency fund. Okay, we can put our dice up. We have our little gold coin. And we can do maybe some scratch offs. Let's see. Um, I owe this one, my home remodel, home reno challenge, which I always like all these challenges from T&L budgets. They're fun, but it was, the amount was not known to me, it was a mystery, and I scratched 50, but I'm gonna go ahead and give myself 10 to pay back on that because I chose not to pay it all at once. And so we only owe $10 more. And then we can get that under control. Oh, gotta have it neat and tidy. Do you guys use a lot of savings challenges? Oh, which one of your favorites? I like the scratch offs, but I also like roll the dice. Some of the games I like, um, <clears throat> I'm not a big game player usually, but I do like scratch offs. Okay. Let's see, let's go to Lumberjack Challenge. We know this is from our friend, Miss Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets. You can see it right there. I kind of, I had to cut this and adjust it. All right, Lefty Lucy, ready, tidy, Lefty Lucy, ready, tidy. Oh, let's see, what do we got? 15, okay, we can do that. I'll be anxious in the next maybe month or two, we can finish some of these up. Five, 10, 15. And then start stuffing our sinking funds. This I like, I like moving money around 
you know, into the savings challenges from the, uh oh, wrong minder. Did you catch that? Oh my God. From the savings challenges to the sinking funds. And let's try that again. So what does that give us in there? That gives us 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. Okay. So we only have 45 more dollars before that one is done. And I think she brought these back. They were kind of unicorns there for a while, but I think she brought a lot of her challenges back and I'll link her channel below. And um, let's try this one. This is from um, Snow Gardener, Marlene there. Why does that escape me every time it does? So we have a few things uh, saved up in there. That's good. But this is from, from her diving trip from Cozumel. So she made a scratch off for it and it's also two sided. So this, you really get good bang for your buck with her savings challenges. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy, lefty Lucy, righty tidy. I think we'll get this one done. Cause it's way up there, $6. All right, we're gonna put five in. It's close enough because I don't have any singles. Use all my singles for my dollar bill challenge. So we'll either round up or round down. What does that give us in here so far? 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, $39. See, that all adds up. It's so much. So fun for me. And I bet it's fun for you too. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, this one is from, oh my gosh, I didn't write it down. Wendy, there it is, Wendy Casper. It's a scratch off. Um, it's a little bit of happy mail she sent me. So we will let's see what's up with this. Lefty Lucy, righty tidy, lefty Lucy, righty tidy. Let's try this one. I think we're on the righty tidy side, $8. So we will give that, that's not very good scratching. 10, five, 10. Let's see what we have in here so far. It's 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Maybe that's like a $50 challenge. You know, I like, I kind of like the unknown. Well, until it's like a $50 hit, but you know, I'll get over that too. No big deal. No big deal. And then we can go. Okay, we've done this one. We'll do vacation. This is from Brooke. She's a subscriber, and I bet she subscribes to your channel too. She is fabulous and so creative. Left to Lucy, ready, tidy. Left to Lucy, ready, tidy. Let's finish off this top row. $18. This is for vacation. This will go into my travel binder. 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's see what we have here. That's 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82. Not bad. Thank you, Brooke. You're the best. So we have $10 left. And what we're going to do. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Look at me trying to. I would like to finish one, get something close, but that's not going to be in the cards today. So we'll work on this one. This was a freebie from Snow Gardener, um, 307, AKA Marlene. These are worth a dollar, these are worth two, and these are worth five. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. So we'll color those in and we will just be happy with that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So every little bit helps. And, you know, you think, oh my gosh, all my binders have all my money. It's a mindset. You kind of have to get used to leaving your money in there and not spending it instantaneously. I still have to really grasp that concept some days because, you know, I want to go to Target and just go shop. I have this much money in my checking account. I want to go. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. So $28. And 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, $15 more. We can finish that one off and then we can move it to a sinking fund. All right, so as always, happy times ahead. I like this sticker. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. I appreciate you guys being here and helping me stuff. 
for Savings Challenge Monday and make sure you leave a like. That would be awesome too. And if you're not already subscribed, I hope you consider it or resubscribe because you know YouTube will unsubscribe you and I have to do that too. I have to go through all of my uh, channels that I normally watch and hit subscribe because I get kicked off. I don't know why. All right, you guys, I appreciate you being here and I will see you on the next, whoops, whoops, video. Okay, bye.